Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get in and out of the sinkhole. Now, I won't be cutting anything just to make sure that, you know, I don't <laughs> confuse anyone. I will speed up the rope climbing and sliding scenes. Otherwise, it's just going to make the video unnecessarily long. There's a lot of ropes in this journey. And I'm doing this on day one on hard survival. So you got the calories there. And I don't really have anything either. I just got some stuff because hopefully I'm going to make some bombs. I think you need one or two bombs for this. Now, where you're heading is Cave 7. I'll mark it on the map here using the forest map. Recommend you check it out. It's very easy to find. It's where the land bridge is. And it's just, once you cross that, you just keep heading straight. And then you're here. Now, in this video, I'm not going to use any of the glitches or exploits to get to the bottom of the sinkhole. I don't know if any of them still work. There was one where you could drop down and swing your axe as you're landing and you'd survive. Some people can actually land in the water. I don't know how that's possible. There's not enough propulsion. Now I'm using mods of the cave light as a means to show you where to go and everything. Uh, the reason being is it's too dark and it doesn't really show up well in the recording. So it's best to do it this way. Down here is a grey armsy and three cannibals. I'm going to be skipping all the monsters, but I'll be showing you them along the way. The reason I'm going to skip them is it's too difficult otherwise, especially if you don't know where you're going. You can really get yourself in trouble. What I'm doing here, I'm blocking and they destroy the barricade for me. It looks very different when it's all bright, eh? Now, I'm going to head down there, but I actually need dynamite first because I don't know if I'm going to be able to craft the bombs because you need to knock down at least one wall. If you're coming back up and you have no explosives, uh, I'm wondering how you got down there in the first place. But yeah, there's a lot of babies down here, so need to be very careful. There's a lot of cloth in there too. It respawns every time you get in and out of the cave. Good place to farm. Had a zipline system that ran in this cave. Made it easy to farm cloth. That was a while ago now. Okay, they destroyed them for me. I got the dynamite. It's only four pieces. And we're going to head back up. So if you've got bombs, dynamite, you don't need to come down here. But where you do need to come to is here. See, I was over there. See the armsy? I'm going to come down here. And climb down this rope. Grab whatever's here, some red paint and stuff, and just keep heading down. Try not to fall, it's very easy to fall because it's quite dark here. So hopefully this doesn't confuse you because I'm doing it with a lot of brightness. Put it away. Okay, so keep climbing down. It's a lot of ropes, that's why you don't want to fall, it's a long fall. I was going to suggest if you're at the bottom of the sinkhole and you can't get out, if you just die, you'll respawn in the cave too, right near the main cannibal village. So you don't need to uh, worry about getting back up so much. Though in multiplayer, if you die, you lose all your stats. So don't die on purpose in multiplayer. It's no good for you. So I'm going to try and jump this. Oh, that's a hard jump, man. <laughs> oh, you just made it. If you've got the rock climbing axe, you can cross it much easier. Be careful when you're coming back off ropes. You might step back. And yeah, that might not be good for your health. So jump this one. Don't go down that rope there. It's actually a dead end. I don't know why they put it there. But I guess it's supposed to be realistic, not point A to point B. In this game, it's point A to B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. Now, when you go to the bottom of this rope, there's actually quite a few enemies. Oh, if you hold down shift when you're going down a rope, or well, I'm not sure what the run key is on PlayStation 4, you can slide down very fast. It uses stamina now. I never used to, though. But there's two mutants and four or five babies here. As you can see them. I'm just going to scoot on past. I'm not going to engage with that. You can skip a lot of enemies in case. Just go have your wits about you. Okay, so you keep going here. And going along this ledge here. Be careful not to fall down. There's a spot here. And you're going to end up on the other side of this. For some reason, you can place dynamite here. Making you think that it can be exploded. But it can't. So... It's a waste of time. I don't know why they've got that there. But yes, you're going to have to run through those armsies up there. I'll put a timestamp in the description of me getting out of the sinkhole. I don't know why your stamina drains when sliding down a rope, considering you're not really moving. You're contracting the muscles, but it's a very eccentric sort of movement. Can't imagine I would actually use stamina in real life. But yeah, well, I guess they just try to make this game more difficult as they go along. So up here might eat a snack just to keep my energy up. So there's two or three mutants here. Uh, there's two there. 
I'll probably kill me in two hits. So make sure you block. You can't block from behind. So, yeah. This is all straight through. You can't really get lost. Some medicine. Some other stuff here. Grab that. And you're coming through this barricade here. God, the base on my headset. Alright, and there's three cannibals there. I'm going to recoup my stamina. In case they, strangely enough, don't run too far away from their post. So once you run past them, they shouldn't really... <laughs> just jinx myself. Uh, yes, make sure you block. Okay. Run up here and around the corner. Don't look, because you might get scared. There's a lot of Virginias and stuff in here. It's a messy room. There's some modern bow sinkhole over there. It's a pond that sinks down. But you need the rebreather. You can't do it on your own. Main reason is it's too dark, but I don't think you'd have the breath for it. Okay, they're chasing me. They usually run back, though. There we go. So. Gotta make sure I get out of here. Oh, you see so much when you got the cave brightness up. Uh, it's a shame there's no real option for turning up the brightness in caves. Like, people with fears, or if your monitor or screen or TV is really dark. I don't know how you're going to get about. Okay, so I'm cold, so I don't really want to have to deal with that. So I'm going to warm myself up, make an upgraded stick. I'll light that on fire. This is the part you need to blow up. And it's a bit hard to get Armsy down here when he can't see it, because Armsy's knocked that down. So I'm going to have to use a dynamite. I wonder if I could have made... Oh, I could have made a bomb, so I didn't need the dynamite. So there's no place button, so I'm just going to throw it. And there we go. And there's the armsy up there. I don't think he can come down this way. There's a tape there for the camcorder. So. Move out of the way. Oh, that was close. So, once you get up here, you'll need to place a few rocks on this thing here. I think three. One, two, three. Actually, that's a good idea. If you can bait them down there, you don't have to deal with them. Though, if you've gone on the way back, you will. Uh, I'm not interested, mate. I don't think there's many items in there. Once you go through the door, it fully opens up. Okay, I've got to do the same thing here. I'm going to use skulls. Because I don't have three rocks. Go through. I could have picked them up and I don't really want to deal with that. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to come here. There's this long land bridge. From what I know, there's... don't even think there's anything down here. Like, there's all water down there. But um, there's Timmy's toy arm here on the... There's an arm? Leg. On the bridge. There you go. Now, we're actually at the bottom of the sinkhole right now. It's not far to go at all. It's just if you get lost or you have to deal with the enemies, it really slows things down. And it should be night time, I'm guessing. So. I'll light this up. Just so I can show you what's going on. It's one rock. And two skulls. There we go. And there we are. We're at the bottom of the sinkhole. Now, if you got the scuba suit, you can finish the game. Though, you need the key card as well. This is how you access the endgame. It's in the middle of the lake. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. So anyway, if you're at the bottom of the sinkhole, here's how you get back up. It's the exact same way we came, but obviously looking at it going the other way can be a bit disorientating. So that's why I'm going to show you both ways. So going back the way we came, across this bridge. Mind you, it'll be nowhere near as bright as this. Though hopefully you are able to do it. I used to be able to brighten up my videos, but they changed a lot of the presets and I uh, used to be able to add this brightness filter thing through the video editing process. I can't do that anymore. Oh, we're just eating that lake. Huh. So I'm not going to kill them. It's up to you if you want to kill them. Completely up to you. It will obviously take time. Oh yeah, mutants respawn back to where they were if they leave their spot and you leave the area. Okay, where am I going? Oh no, not down there. There's an outfit down there. I wonder what it is. 
That was really close. So you go know, back down in this way. They can't really follow you across the water if they do. Which I don't think they can. They'll drown. I wonder if there's any supplies down here. Eh, probably not. Alright. Out of the water. I'm cold again. And there's enemies there. They can't fall in this water, eh? Oh. Okay. See? They're like blocked from jumping and falling in. They'd probably kill each other if I stood here long enough. Come on. Kill each other. Oh, come on. I just want to get out of here. There we go. They start fighting. Okay, they're going to follow me. Get away. Uh, one hit that isn't blocked. I've got one more hit and then I'm dead. So I really need to get my ass into gear. Okay. I think I'm safe here, so I'm going to take booze, soda, and some meds. So stay on top of it. So I'm back up. Passing the same guys we passed before. It's relatively easy, I think. There's not many turnoffs or like different ways, like forks in the road. So it's pretty easy, I think. So back up the rope. Yeah, back up. There's that spot where the explosives were that you can't blow open. We go over this way. Through here, there's a gap in the cave. I think they separate it to make loading a bit better. A lot of these never used to be in the game. Oh, if you stay cold, you're going to lose more energy. It doesn't affect your stamina, but yeah, you don't really want to lose energy. What the hell's going on there? <laughs> Standing on the baby. I woke him up. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by babies. They do so much damage. Like little kamikaze things. Up this rope. We get to the top, and then we're going to jump across that ledge again. This one's easy. I think the other one's a lot harder. There we go. That's easy. So we're at this one now. This is a really long one, so let's go. Yeah, you've got to do a double jump, I think, unless I'm just jumping too early. I don't know. little double jump right at the end just to get yourself back on it. If you've got relatively high athleticism, your movement speed will increase. So that way you'll be able to clear it a lot more easier. I think at 99 athleticism you run 30 or 40% faster. Maybe even 50% faster. I can't remember. It's been so long since I checked those stats. Here's a trick that I recommend if you're new to caves. Stop right before the end of the rope. Because you don't know what's up the top a lot of the time. Recoup your stamina then go over. That's if you don't know or if you want to take a precaution. I recommend doing that. So you just keep going up the ropes. That over there. That way heads towards the tennis racket and potometer. Pedometer, pedometer, yeah, whatever. And up. We're almost there, we're up Let's at the top level. It looks like all this stuff respawned. Oh, there you go. Hey, it's because, yeah, when you leave a cave and come back in, it'll, it'll respawn. Ah, oh, put it away. <laughs> Jeez. Up this little rope here. I remember people used to get caught on this. You had to jump, then move forward. People were jumping and moving forward at the same time. So heading back this way. We have to go through the arms and the three cannibals again. Though, so, um, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. Yeah, be careful turning your back on things. Also, when you're about to climb a rope, they could still hit you at the bottom. See? Oh, <laughs> I was heaps far up the rope then. Jeez. That really hurt. <laughs> yeah, learn from my mistake. Maybe keep them busy or kill them. I don't know. It's up to you. But yeah, we're at the end of the line. Just up here. The better half of him's gone. <laughs> uh, and then out we go. It's still night time, so... I'll check the stats. It's still day zero, so it can be done very quickly. So there you go. 
how to get in and out of the sinkhole. If you want me to do this tutorial again with the, with the cave darkness on, I can. Going through there, the caves look very different with all the brightness. So I don't want to confuse you. And it's very easy for me to make this video. So let me know if you want me to do it again. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>